Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your hover color and select color in Roblox Studio, which I don't think a lot of people even know about this. I found out about it recently. So the hover color is when you're like hovering over a item or like some models in your Roblox game with your cursor. And then the select color is when you select a model or object or whatever, and you're actually clicking on it with a cursor, which is both blue colors usually, but you can change this to any color you actually want. So you want to go ahead and go to the top left area in Roblox Studio, and it's going to be file. Click on that and go all the way down to studio settings. Here you're going to be in the studio section and then you want to go ahead and you can start start from the top and then you're going to go down to the tools section and you're going to see select color hover over color and active color which are three different things i don't really know what the active color does but but anyways they're really easy to change from here you can go ahead and just click on this is really simple and efficient and i also recommend that the select color and hover over color are pretty similar colors just a little darker or lighter depending on what you want to do my favorite color is orange so that's what i'm going to set this as and this is going to be for the hover over one and then the other one the select color i you know at first First, I made it yellow, but I do the changes later. But uh, I was just playing around for a little bit, but I ultimately made it yellow just to show you the difference of the colors later on. And then you can also change the selection line thickness and other stuff too. There's actually a lot of settings that you guys probably don't even know about in Roblox Studio. It's really cool. And as you can see here, the hover over color is now orange as I'm selecting this modern home, which I found in the toolbox. And then you can see the spawn. And then when I click on it, it's now yellow. So you can see the difference now. So that's another cool thing too is that you can make it a little darker or lighter. That way, you you can tell the difference if you're actually selecting it or not which this actually makes it useful because before it's just blue whether you select it or you hover over it but yeah i hope you guys found this video extremely helpful that's how you pretty much do that i'm going to change it again where the selection is not going to be orange but recently i just did this and i figured it out so i want to share it with you guys and if you want to know how to make custom cursors for your games in roblox studio go ahead and watch my one video linked in the description below it's really useful and it's really quick to do but yeah i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and smash the like button and until next time good Bye.